Hello, I am just going to show you how I make my smoked mackerel pate, which is so easy, such a lovely filling, satisfying um, addition to salads, or maybe you could just eat it with some um, lovely raw vegetables, you could eat it with um, cucumber or tomato or sliced peppers or some celery, um, there's no reason why you couldn't put some in an avocado. Uh, or you could have some raw tender stem broccoli with it, or some raw beans, some raw sugar snaps, or mange too. All those types of vegetables are delicious raw because you keep the crunch. Um, or I think, as I've already said, add it as your protein in a lovely big salad full of all sorts of different leaves and vegetables and lovely olive oil. So, super healthy food. It's also a really good source of omega-3 fatty acids, which we know are... Um, anti-inflammatory so they're they're also good for your brain function they're good for eye health omega-3 fatty acids are just really important for all sorts of functions in your body which when you're eating a diet which is full of foods which are nourishing your body and making sure that you get the nutrients that you need for your body to work well for it to do all of those jobs that we don't even think about or know it's doing um it's you know, really good for that. So this is how I make my smoked mackerel pate. Okay, so I just used smoked mackerel fillets. You can see I've already um, taken the skins off and put most of them in my blender, ready to go. But you can see the, these ones have got peppercorns on, but I've also, I've actually used two packets because I'm gonna make um, a big batch of this, but you know, one packet would make you enough mackerel pate um, easily to last you for a couple of days uh, and what I do to save the washing up is I literally take the skins off while they're still sitting in the packet because you know what anything that saves a bit of washing up is a good thing <laughs> so here we go I've and um, like I said I've done most of them um, so this is the this is one fillet and you can see it's got the skin on still okay and so I just use a knife and a fork and literally just pull the skin off because they, these are cooked, obviously. So the skin comes off really easily. So you just pull it off like that. And there you have it. One mackerel fillet ready to go in your blender or however you are going to smash it up. Um, you could use a, a blender. You could use a, actually, this is a food processor, um, anything that would work like that. So this is the next one. So again, you just pull it off with your knife and fork, it comes off really easily. And I usually start at the fat end and finish at the, the sort of the very narrow pointy end because it just comes off more easily like that. So that's that. I'm gonna use lemon juice to just give it a little bit of extra flavor. And I'm using cream cheese today, but you can use creme fraiche or you could use some lovely um, full fat, natural Greek yogurt um, or cream cheese. They all work really, really well. Uh, horseradish is nice to add in. That gives it a lovely bit of extra flavour. Um, and lemon juice also works really, really well. And with any of these things, I would say whatever I'm showing you is just what I like. So you go ahead and change it to suit you. Okay, so I'm just going to juice a whole lemon that's ready to go into and also it will be you know depending on what you use in terms of cream cheese will have an effect on its consistency so mine's going to be quite thick today I'm going to use this whole tub of cream cheese so just pop that in and it's that easy it's literally two or three ingredients depending on what you put in there so let's get all that in Okay, let's put the lemon juice in too. Let's just turn this on. And then I'm going to give it a quick sort of mix around make sure i've got all the bits off the edge in there smells delicious already give 
get another quick whiz. Oh look, there's a big bit on the lid. I'm gonna waste that. For a couple of days. I'm just going to try a bit. Okay, so you can see what it looks like in there. Pretty solid consistency, that's not going anywhere. Mmm. And that's delicious. So, hopefully, you'll be inspired to try making some smoked mackerel pate. Thanks for watching. Bye.